were you clear who's in control? Because we continue to hear that, that folks are saying, look, there still does not seem to be uh, one person who is in charge running the show, General Russell Honore, so many folks know uh, from the effort and light uh, and, right after, and trust. After, 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 after uh, Hurricane Katrina, he continues to say, you have to have a central lead, a, com a commander at the top running the show. The president said it's Thad Allen, but I've not gotten the sense from the people here that they have the belief that he truly is in charge running the show. Let me tell you what's so important and, and is that Thad Allen uh, spends most of his time in Washington and we understand that and he comes back and forth. Russell Honore would be a great person uh, to include in this effort because the people of this region trust him. You see it's not simply about whether the person can do a good job or not do a good job. It's whether the people of this region uh, who suffered so much because of Hurricane Katrina because of drop balls across the board. Will they have trust for the people who are in charge. So I think that perhaps uh, there could be not only Thad Allen, but an on-the-ground person who's going to stay in touch with the local elected officials. And I think last week when we came down, uh, the president and his team sent a number of federal officials to the meeting that we held with the fishermen. Uh, I really, really wanted them to be there because I wanted them to hear from the fishermen directly not hear from me what the fisherman has said. And one of the things the Urban League is going to do is make sure that we, we where we convene discussions, the fishermen, uh, we think that the company, we think that the federal officials all need to be around the table. So when you talk about trust in many ways, what you're saying is, just like when General Stanley McChrystal uh, was forced out and he resigned, uh, the president put General Petraeus in, David Petraeus, uh, because Congress had the trust in him to do the job, and there's still trust in the country. That what is needed for the president, are you suggesting that what he should do is do the exact same thing? Put someone in there who folks have experience with knowing he's done it before, he can do it again. Thad Allen, I think, uh, is qualified. I think he's competent. He's a Coast Guard officer. But let me tell you what people here need. See, this is important. And sometimes in Washington, in the East Coast, this is about having somebody that people can touch and feel every day. Someone who's meeting with the local elected officials on a weekly basis, in person. Someone that people can go to, whether it's people in the fishermen's community, whether it's small business people or community leaders that they can go to. There needs to be a strong physical presence. And I would recommend, and I think that the president uh, uh, from what I heard, when the president has involved himself in the decision making, things have happened very quickly. And I don't think it should be misunderstood that, from what I heard, the people of this region trust the president, have confidence in the president, and I think our recommendation is, is that he's got to have the strongest continuing presence, the strongest continuing team possible here in the Gulf Coast area. All right, Mark, thanks a bunch.